What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and welcome to Wireshark them all uh, where we basically Wireshark every single protocol in existence. And today's TLS. We're gonna Wireshark TLS 1.2, we're gonna Wireshark TLS 1.3 and uh, we're gonna Wireshark a, a failure where the client supports TLS 1.3 but the server doesn't. How about we jump into it, guys? So this is uh, Wireshark, where it actually captures low-level TCP packets. And as a back-end engineer, really, I don't think front-end engineer need to worry about that. But back-end engineer, if you want to debug, and, and especially when you write code that uses a lot of uh, networking traffic, you want to know what's going on in every protocol. And I talked about WebSockets. I talked about... What happened in WebSocket? I talked about what happened in HTTP 1.1. I'm still gonna make a HTTP 2 and 3, and I'm get uh, I'm making TLS and all of this stuff, guys. Like all these, when you make a request, what really happens behind the scene, and you really start to appreciate the work that happens. And and based on that, you can change your mindset. Okay, this is more expensive than this, and I'm gonna go do do this right. And and if we if we start doing silly things like doing uh, opening and closing connection in a for loop, for example, and I've done this mistake many times in my career, right? And and I didn't I didn't think much of it because it works. Who cares, right? But it will make you appreciate. How about we jump into it, guys? All right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna curl nginx, right? And nginx only support TLS 1.2, the server for some reason, right? They didn't update their, uh, their their web server to actually support Nginx. You would think the Nginx website will support TLS 1.3, but never mind. It's actually a good opportunity for us to test this stuff. So what I'm going to do is curl uh, Nginx, actually uh, HTTPS, Nginx.com. And then I'm going to do, specifically, I'm going to ask, I'm going to tell the server that I only support TLS version 1.2. And... The moment I do dash V, this is just to tell us more details uh, and curl. That's what's ha gonna happen, right? And there's like these details, we're gonna go through them, not from curl perspective, but from an, uh, Wireshark. So this is the IP address that we hit when we hit Nginx. So apparently there's a load balancer. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna filter it here so that IP address is equal to my and only 443 and only this. So when you do this in, in Wireshark, it's actually gonna filter only the packets between the destination and the, and the source so that you see a nice uh, uh, stuff here. So all right, that's all what happened. So how many packets do we have here? Ah, Wireshark, it doesn't start from scratch. That sucks. So 49 minus 71, never mind. So a few packets. All right, so let's go through them. All right, we, we're we doing TLS 1.2 for sure, right? That means this is the long handshake, and we talked about TLS. Check it out here. So what we're going to do here is best thing ever, since it's TCP, three-way handshake, baby. Three-way handshake, so we can agree on the sequence number. So the server can send their own data, and the clients can send their own data with sequenced, and, and this sequence can be acknowledged, right? We talked about all, this, all that stuff. All right. Once we do that TLS handshake and that uh, that TCP handshake, the next thing is what the client actually sends a client hello and it says TLS version 1.2 and let's let's expand that. And I love this about the I love I love this a lot in Wireshark. It actually expands the TLS and show you all the headers. So we're gonna go through that a little bit. So in TLS 1.2, guys, before I go through that. There is, depends on the algorithm being used, but there's usually two round trips. So the client hello and server hello, and then the client change server spec and the ser server then change uh, the cipher spec, right? So there's like four four requests, right? And basically two round trips. In TLS 1.3 is just one round trip. It's very fast, right? So client hello, what do we do? We basically say, hey, I'm doing client hello. This is uh, uh, this is the ciphers I support, right? This is the extensions and all that stuff, right? This is the server name extension, the server name indication. We talked about that, right? Hey, I'm I'm going to nginx, uh, cipher suites. That's the, all the ciphers I support. That's a lot, right? I support so many. The curl supports so many ciphers. It says, hey, okay, I support all of this stuff. Pick anything you want, server. 
that you think it's secure. And um, I'm, I'm going to go through this stuff like uh, application layer protocol negotiation. That's a ALPN that says, hey, by the way, if you support it, I also support HTTP2, right? But it seems like, uh, yeah, like, the, hey, I support HTTP2, but if you don't, then let's stick with the one one in this case, right? And uh, yeah, that's just how you basically negotiate all of that stuff in, in the TLS. TLS client hello is is really big, right? Only 500 bytes, but there is so much stuff. They 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 make it as the bit bit operated, but uh, yeah, look at this hash algorithms. And here's a, one of the interesting thing: supported version. Since we said I want TLS 1.2. The client offered TLS 1.3 and 1.2 and 1.3. That's how curl does it. When you say, hey, I want to communicate with the TLS 1.2, that means I support 1.2 and above. So it will add 1.2 and add 1.3. Okay. And obviously, this is the uh, the a key exchange mode. It's for a curl is actually forcing the Diffie Hillman which is awesome, right? Because you don't want RSA. RSA is not perfectly forward and it's, it can be really, it can be easily cracked, right? Um, all right, that's the client hello, guys. What's next, right? There is some TCP window update that's just uh, the server telling the client, hey, by the way, I can't receive more than that, right? Just, you, you know that, right? Just send me more data, don't worry about it. All right, and then, that's the th next thing here is like we didn't we didn't acknowledge that yet i think well we did acknowledge it huh how about that and this we updated the packet and we also acknowledged the client hello awesome server hello then now the server response is hey all right let's talk uh, uh the server name all right this is the application layer negotiation we're gonna talk in http1 <laughs> so it doesn't support http2 i was surprised right in GenX. I really, I thought it's going to support engine, uh, HTTP2, but it doesn't. That's a good test for us. We're gonna, next, we're going to talk to Google, I think, and I'm going to show that it actually supports all that stuff. And look at that. It says, hey, I picked 1.2 because I don't support TS 1.3. Awesome. 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 This is the TLS elliptic curve Diffie Hellman RSA with... Uh, Okay, so this is the, the cipher that I picked, all right? And yeah, look at all that stuff. That's the server hello, right? And now the client just sent the information. The server responds back, right? And now now that they actually negotiated which ciphers to pick, the next thing is actually to, to exchange the key itself. In TLS 1.3, we don't have that, which is you don't have a choice server always communicate in Diffie Hellman, always, and here are my key parameters, and just, we let's exchange the key from the first thing. In TS 1.3, we all, we finish everything here, okay? And all right, and uh, obviously, oh, what did, what did I do? <laughs> server hello, and then immediately the server will respond with almost the same packet size, 1448, 1448. And now it's it's clearly a different packet, right? Because we're sending two different packets. And here's the server hello. And now we're sending the certificate. What does the certificate have? It has the public key of the server. It has the certificate authority, signature, all that stuff, right? And now the server key exchange, right? So it's the client's actually the server is actually sending multiple packets and all of this stuff needs to be acknowledged right so the client now says okay i acknowledge your server hello i acknowledge your certificate and i am about to exchange my side of the key and i'm about to also change the cipher spec immediately right so okay we change the cipher spec we send that information look at how many how how chatty this thing is right and then this serve uh, the client says okay i acknowledge that previous message and then that's it immediately what we get back is i i start the serve the client whenever you see application data that means that the the encryption started that means even wireshark cannot look what this data is it's impossible right wireshark cannot do it be a proxy like a debugging proxy like fiddler can actually look at this data and decrypt it if you because it will act like a man in the middle right it will terminate the tls and it will it will establish its own communication between your client and itself and then decrypt and re-encrypt this backend right but yeah your cannot do anything so now 
encrypted alert and all that stuff. And then the fin, who's initiating the fin is actually the client. That's Curl says, okay, we send an information. We actually got back the data from the server, right? Not back. Oh, that's not another huge data, but sure. All right, we got it back. And then once we get it back, the, the client says, okay, I, I want to close everything. The server says, okay, I, I want to close too. And there's some packets out of order for some reason. That's it. That's TLS 1.2, guys. <laughs> A little bit longer, huh? Right? So how about we fail Nginx? I'm going to uh, refresh all this stuff. And let's now do this. All right. So we're going to say now... What we're going to do is we're going to crawl nginx.com, HTTPS, and we're going to tell nginx.com that, hey, we as a client only support TS 1.3. That's bad, but it's actually, that's bad because most of the connections will fail because not all servers actually support 1.3, but it's good for you because it's always better to use 1.3, right? It's faster, it's, it's more secure actually. And then we do that, look at this. We're going to try that stuff. We're going to do all that stuff. This is my IP address of the Nginx. And all of that stuff here, we fail. It says handshake failure. And that's okay because Nginx.com actually doesn't support TS 1.3. So that failure is expected. So let's look at the, what happened here. Look at that beautiful stuff. Hi. <laughs> all right. So nothing fancy here. Uh, Three-way handshake. Sin. Sinac. Ack. And the client, hello. Let's expand that a little bit. The server here says, yeah, I support, the version is 1.2, but look at that. If we go all the way and say, same thing, application level negotiation, we go to the supported version. Look at this stuff. <laughs> it says, I only support 1.3. Right, so that freaked out when 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 the server actually received the error. We got an error. It says handshake failure. It says like, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I do not support TLS 1.3. I only support 1.2. Right. The error message is a little bit weird. Handshake failure. I would expect that it says okay, 1.3 is not supported or whatever. But yeah, that's what we get back from the server. And then obviously immediately the client says, not the client actually the server, huh? I didn't know that. So it's like, sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry, client. You're just too advanced to me. I am going to close the connection. All right, Finac. I'm gonna ack you, and then I'm gonna ack the uh, that message that I sent, which happens to be a failure. And then I'm gonna Finac and then ack. That's it, right? That's actually that's what happened when you when the server doesn't support TLS 1.3, right? So that's another second case. How about we go to a case where the server actually supports 1.3 let's jump into it all right guys how about we test to see a tls 1.3 right so to do that i don't want to go to google because i try to go to google and uh, it is so complicated google does so much different thing and i don't want to go through that right because it just treat they're treated differently for some reason they they try to optimize so i'm going to go to my website say nasa.com which supports tls 1.3 shockingly right so tls v 1.3 i'm going to force that and then dash v let's do it and this is the content it says okay maximum connection whatever that's the content don't don't pay attention to what it says it's just hey this is it right and now where I want to actually filter on my server, which is this one, right? So if I do that, go back to my server here, it says, okay, filter it up, and that's it. That's not much. All right, that's reasonable. Let's do it. Let's talk about it. So the first thing, sing, sing, ack, ack, not fancy. And then the client, hello. The client, hello, here in the server says, okay, here's the version that I support. I only support 1.3. That is awesome, right? But that, that's what we want, right? And the server will say, I can only do that client hello. And then the server will immediately, in the client hello with TOS 1.3, we will have everything we need for the server to assemble the, the symmetry key. And we talked about TOS 1.3. Check it out, right? So the, the server will say, okay, server hello. Change server spec. I got it. Here's my certificate. Here's everything you need right here so it will change the cyber spec it will say yes i do support 1.3 let's start communicating with 1.3 from now on and and awesome 
I don't know why it says version 1.2 here. That's odd. But the record is actually 1.3. But yeah, it's 1.3, all right. And then the the server acknowledges that stuff, and then we start sending application data. That means just like that, we started encrypting. And again, uh, what's his name? What you mean? Uh, Wireshark cannot look at this data, obviously, right? So yeah, a client acknowledges this information. Cloudage acknowledges that the data, and then change our respect. The client says, "Oh, now I'm ready." I changed, let's go ahead and send information. So this, now the server is actually sending some the data. I think this is the Git request that we made. That's a lot of data. We cannot tell what, what it is, but what we were interested in is the, is the essentially the TLS handshake, which is just literally two steps, right? And that's the final step is just another request. But, but, but here, just for, by the time we got that information, we are ready to rock and roll. So TS 1.3 is way faster. And obviously there's just all the data going back and forth. And finally, when we actually close the connection. And they close the connection for some reason on, on my server, it's resetting. So it's a bug at my end, maybe. <laughs> like, look at that. It's resetting the connection for some reason, right? So my connection is not closing gracefully. And I need to look at that at my end and my server, right? So there is no fin. There is no beautiful fin. There is just... A hard stop like this reset which which is nasty anyway guys that's what we wanted to look at today tls wire sharding wire sharking tls hope you enjoyed this video guys i'm gonna see you on the next one you guys stay awesome